Welcome to beautiful Ray Skillman Stadium. I'm standing here alongside Coach Moore, and this is the Allstate Bontrager Insurance Agency pregame show. And Coach, every year in the high school football season, there's always a few mornings where you wake up and you're just excited to get out there and start the game. It might be the first game of the season, homecoming, senior night, but tonight, it's that way because it starts the state tournament in 6A football for the state of Indiana. And when you came here, you always brought a belief system that when we start the tournament, we can win it. And of course, that starts by doing it one game at a time. And tonight, we play a team from Southern Indiana and Jeffersonville, and they're going to come in here. They're anxious for the challenge and excited to play us. Yeah, well, uh, welcome back, everyone. It's been a it's been a two-week break for from high school football. It seems like it's been a month month since we played a game. I uh, hope we were, we're well rested and ready to compete. And yes, tonight is the beginning of the second season, or like I call it the Christmas season, sort of, because it's the playoff time. Now it's the drive for five wins. Uh, you win five games in a row, and you're the best in the state. Anything, anything short of that, and you, and you go home early. And tonight's a big challenge because it's a beautiful day, and it's going to be a beautiful night here at Race Goldman Stadium. We're going to get a really talented, uh, athletic Jeffersonville team with great size and speed. Uh, with nothing to lose, and um, last couple times up here, they've ha they've not had a good turnout, so they're hoping to change their ways. Uh, again, when you play it in our in, in our enthusiastic stadium and our crowd, it brings out the A game of everybody else. So I, you know, I've already forewarned our kids that they're going to play Jeffersonville at their best tonight. So we got to really be ready to match that. But it's great. It's uh, you know, the the feeling is a little different on game day. Every time you come and talk on Friday, you know, there's next Friday. Now there's no guarantee next Friday. You know. So you try to instill that into the kids with not being pressure. Uh, our big thing was this week, get back to playing football. You know, we've been off now for 10, 10, 12 days. Let's get back to playing football and have fun. Don't think about the pressure. If you lose, you're done. Let's just go have fun. Well, and you mentioned the fact that it has been a while. It does. It seems forever and a day ago that we played Cathedral on senior night. And every year it's been different. I think that's what's been difficult to, to how do you handle it. We have a, a long two-week fall break, but last year the bye was on the back end of the tournament. Now it's on the front end. And overall, how do you think our kids have handled it? Well, I, I you know, you won't know till the season's over. Uh, last year we really needed that bye at the end of the year getting ready for the state championship. This year, we really needed that by this week to get ready just to play the sectional games because we've been beat up and we've got several kids out and kids coming, some kids coming back. So I guess, I guess every year it presents its own set of challenges and problems for that. Uh, we tried to rest, but they're high school kids over the bye week. You don't know what they do when they're not at practice, and that's a nightmare for the coach. I've had probably the worst two weeks <laughs> mentally of my life. Uh, and, and, you know, it's just because of all the free time that suddenly becomes available. The weather was unbelievable for kids to go out and do things, but yet you had to keep focused and come back to school every day and practice football. Uh, you don't want it to be a punishment for the kids, so we did take two or three days off and let them get out and have some fun, just come back and focus back in. Focus has been a key word. Focus on the Red Devils and focus on nothing else down the line, just this game first. But uh, it's, it's sort of a shame, though, that – you know, we did. We weren't right on after the Cathedral game because if we can go back to that just for a second, that was one of the most exciting games in the state of Indiana. It was an overtime game against two great programs. You know, say what you want about Cathedral, but that's where everybody draws the line. You know, you hang your hat on what they do or what they don't do, and if you compete against them, you know where you are. You know where your level is. You know if you got to get better or if you're if you're right there in, in the game. And obviously, uh, we had some great performances. Rush Sheets, five touchdown passes in one game. Jack Helms throwing five touchdown passes in one game. All records, but it was just really neat to see our kids compete and never stop competing and never give up. We had some highs and we had some lows and so did Cathedral. And I just you know commend both teams for playing such a great football, high school football game. And if you weren't there, you missed it. So if you missed that game, please come out tonight because you don't know how the tournament rolls. This could be the last night we have a game in, uh, in Ray Skillman Stadium. You and I were talking a little bit about that, and you can't get wrapped up into it, but this year it seems like Center Grove's almost become the forgotten team. And, and what's interesting is that was a big win against Cathedral. It was our eighth straight. Uh, our defense, which a lot of people didn't think would be able to step up this year, really has, has done exactly that. They've only given up 13 points. We're still scoring nearly 33 points a game, and it just seems like – whether it's the media or everybody else, they, it, they've written us off, and, and that might be a big mistake for everybody as we prepare for this tournament. Well, for 17 years, you climb out of this hole to have relevance, and you win a state championship, and then you win another one undefeated, and it seems like you're right that no one has talked about us. I, respect is respect, I guess, but no one's talked about us, and uh, the, the limelight seems to always go to these other schools that are competing for championships when we've won one as recent as last year. So, you know, you sort of got to put that behind. It is frustrating. 
And I am going to build the next four weeks. If we can be fortunate enough to win tonight, the next four weeks will be about respect. Let's get our respect back. Well, listen, uh, it's going to be an exciting night. It's the first time we've taken the field in quite some time. It is the state tournament. We appreciate all you do, your coaches and what they do, and good luck tonight, and let's go get a sectional victory. Well, thanks to you and all the gridiron people in the Parents Club, uh, Center Grove Football Parents Club, and all the administrators and everything at Center Grove that helps us, everybody at Center Grove that helps us do what we do. And please, guys, there's plenty of room now in the brand-new Ray Skillman Stadium. Come out, buy a ticket for the sectional you know, semifinal, Center Grove versus Jeffersonville. Go Trojans.